So tough, slick for a fight that happened to fall. And when he found out about this one, he was getting that extra poundage around his waist. He doesn't know what this bird thinks he's did, whatever it takes to show him in this first round. Guys, because they beat and has over uh, what about 40 wins uh, last week, might have been at Chris Bird. Plus, so Chris Bird, who likes to set up a lot with his jab, might have been, but it's Bird right now taking it to Williams. Bird looks very confident. 290. And brings up. But you know, a lot of the amateur fighters, they go out in the first three rounds and they punch themselves out. Then they have nothing left for the later rounds. That is what Arthur Williams is banking on. Oh, stepping on oh, the foot. they're calling it they're calling a knockdown. And it's their feet. Yeah, against those southpaw fighters, your feet constantly get tangled up. And maybe a little bit of the foot. For middleweight. Each of the next three fights. Second fight was his fourth weight. Higher than 215. That was an amateur. Of course, super middleweight. Contender on the threshold of the world championship fight. I'm and uh, middle, super middle into the heavyweight division. Trying to get busier against Arthur Williams, but he's facing a world class who might be confusing Bird even more. Acts at Erlen Norris for the cruiserweight title. And punch, 24 wins, 18 nine. Arthur was 14 years of age, took him under his wing. Roy Jones stand. All of a sudden, their right hand is blocking your jab. You can't say Arthur Williams. Watch the feet, the front feet. Both of them real close, and right there, stepping on the foot is Arthur Williams. Chris Bird goes down, not even a punch thrown. Play. And to understand the knockdown. Arthur Williams and found out that he could take their punches. And it's a heavyweight. And he fought ten guys who he felt were really kind of slow, although like a middleweight with fast hands. And now it's Bird turning around. He'll show you a lot of angles, but Arthur Williams... This is sketch also understands that Chris Bird is a possible test for Bird. Most people believe that he is not a puncher, but he has seven KOs in his last seven fights. Really nice. He works his opponent down, and then he uses his plus. Let's see. Right. Speed is power. Yeah. The heavyweight is trying to make it. And could be a very entertaining fighter, but tonight you are seeing, as there he ducks that punch of Williams, you're starting to see the process. He's going to learn a lot from this. Right. He and his father are going to dissect this fight. And now it's a question of, can he come out with a victory over a talented Arthur Williams? Previous round. Four, getting instructions from his uh, father, Joe. Also wants a little more hand speed from Bird. Bird's ducking away, but, but a reminder to... He has a rubber band waist. Good movement, fast hands, and good foot speed. I would say I agree with that. A little shifting the weight and you move your head, the angles you give your opponent. In the slow punches, he just has certainly proven. Really had a bad, bad uh, thing with that left. He's bad habit of uh, pawing with it. There's a good that left. He'd snap it out there, he'd set it up for the right hand. Combination. Time he is in the ring. Thinking of setting up his opponent. Likes to move. Doing and swing and hit. Bird just pounding away. He just gets in there and checks away. He says Bird. The weight division. And Arthur Williams testing the waters for the first time. The cruiserweight contender. All nine and a half. But right now the champ with Rose. No let uh, Arthur said that he's working with experience. I've given Chris every round. I think Arthur is being capitalize off anything Chris do that's uh, not right. You know. You, you know, Ma, you still got to be careful, though, right? Yeah, he still got to be careful because, as I said, he's working with experience. This young man has experience. And Christopher, he, he's going to have to... Uh, uh, Try to pick him from the outside. Yeah. Now, Chris said that you're more difficult in the corner than Dad. Why? Well, I, I, they bring all their problems to me. There he goes. They bring all their problems to me. So I have to be difficult with the coach, the Joe. And, uh... All right. Over here? Uh, no. Yeah. I mean, in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Allie, uh, they're just... Of round number five. 
And uh, Chris Bird with Mom Watson. Well, this is a boxing family. Brother Tim is a lightweight and retired as a light heavy. Ronnie was unbeaten, a 130-pounder, retired after an automobile accident. He's uh, in height. And, uh, you know, Rose says she likes seeing aspirations. A uh, very athletic family. The nest is full. Halfway through round number... Both coming. Just, and he's thinking to himself, I need to... Last round, came back to the corner, seemed to sit up. Says, I feel like a champ. This is the second half of this fight. Again, Rose talking to Sean for Arthur Williams. But they want Chris to... They realize the danger of an... And get him, you really have to get him, give it to him, go, go, go. The, the mother sometimes says, well, what? don't get hit. Like Chris Bird has done a wonderful job trying to keep them both happy. There's a good right hand by William. That and is William what, steps in. That is what Rose Bird is worried about. And now blood from underneath the eye of Chris Bird. Arthur Williams waiting for this opportunity. But time the cuts before. But uh, in that corner, very ineffective. Trying to close that cut. Oh, and there's the big left by Chris Bird. He looks to open it up. Arthur Williams now. Bird, bloody from the eye. Is he pulling an Evander Holyfield? He turns it up. He wants to end it here. Williams trying to find the rope. Now Williams battles back. Chris Bird in the face of Williams in his corner. And Arthur Williams now tries to hold in deep trouble. Chris Bird has showed the ability to... Unable to take advantage of the cut. Ooh, that right did hand. not seem to be closed. Williams shaken up here in round number seven just when he thought that he had made inroads on Chris Bird. The first time Bird has been past the sixth. Now the Bird. Trying to... He's taken enough shots in this round. Williams... Works downstairs, and he tries to hit that eye. So was in the first round, trying to work his way away from him. The longest fight so far in his short. With that punch to be the way they stand. And Chris Bird moves in, but he... He waits to come to him. There's when fighters advance toward them. Coming down here at number eight, who sometimes can be overly cautious. We are seeing that here in round eight fights onto the heavyweight scene. Oh, no. Le Leon. Four. And I knew that he didn't even train for something. But if he can pick it up and bring that out, he can win this fight. I, I think Chris has outpunched him. He's been very this round. Um, he came back and won a few to me. Well, Leon, on my scorecard, if Chris had sometimes that's better for you. Everything a little more careful. He's, he's, he's done more punches. I want him to come with uppercuts. I want uppercuts and left hooks, but he's not doing it enough. You want him to move closer, too? Yeah, he's looking more. He's the one backing up, though, here. Is that good? All right. Well, keep him working. I, I think you know what to do. You're going, Al. They know what they need to do. Well, I think the champ is uh, concernedly on Washington. I thought that his guy was ahead going into the ninth round. There was a combination by Kyle, but uh, not aggressive enough throughout the fight. He has uh, some moments. Chris Bird, the hometown hero, stopping their feet. And Arthur Williams does open it up. Following directions. That's nice. Number six for Arthur Williams. But Arthur Williams showing a little more wear bird, but it could be the wait in the last five days to get up to heavy. Yeah, that and notice he found out about this fight, fight down those last few days. You really sharpen up those sometimes. That's all you do for your workout. Oh, good combination by both fighters. This fight tonight, I'm going back to cruiserweight. I'm, I'm not big enough to be a heavyweight. And for Chris Bird, goes in against a, a tough, awkward fighter. Goes 10 rounds for the first time. And just as he, Chris Bird. Yeah, experience. You need these kind of fights against the... Something that can, can give you some... Something to get up for. There's a good to the right. And something that can push you to another level. Chris Bird said that he reached another level. Frankie Hines. Hopefully tonight he'll do that again. A cut midway in the fight and actually had his best round the round after he was cut. And Bird continues to flail away. Turning minute of the fight. Come on, says Chris Bird. Let's go. 20 seconds. Let's see what you have. The crowd now standing at the palace for the final seconds. Chris Bird. 
Chris Bird, a quick thank you from above.